Hello everybody and welcome to more Hearthstone. This is actually the first video I'm making since that initial batch. Uh, I want to take a quick second to thank uh, Red Dead 405 and I hope I'm going to pronounce this right, Reluce or Reluce. Uh, both of them were commenting through all the videos giving me advice. Um, I'm going to take that advice, talk ab about it a little bit and play some. So I'm still actually working on beating these bots, essentially, so I can unlock all the classes. Now, I'm not going to use custom decks. One of the pieces of advice I got was to hold off on making custom decks until I'm level 10, because there are a lot of essential cards for that class that I would be missing. Now, have you noticed? Uh, I got the warrior. I also have the hunter. I was playing a little bit, um, you know, before. So let's... Off camera, I should say. Uh, I didn't really learn a whole lot until I was reading that advice, though. So let's play as a hunter for the first time, and we will fight the shaman. Now, the the major advice that I was getting um, from Reluce um, was to focus on board control and card control. And the two concepts, as he or she explained it, was that... Uh, Board control is sort of making sure that the minions that the enemy is putting out is kept to a minimum at any one point, or at the very least that there is a sort of deficit so that you have more minions out there than they do. And the concept of card control is making sure you're not throwing everything out there that you've got so that you're not left with an empty hand, which happened to me very often. Another piece of advice that I got from Red Dead was um, if I get the coin with the extra mana to hold on to that until something important comes along. So let's grab, I guess, all of this. I think one skill that'll probably take a while is knowing what constitutes a good hand and what doesn't. Uh, what's important to learn is, look, I could do these things. Look, boing, boing. Um, anyway, okay, so card control, board control. So I'm not going to throw everything out there that I have. Let's throw, what's the totem do? I haven't fought. Summon a random totem, okay. And this gives me beasts that give me other... So uh, let's go with this. Just so we can get a move in there. I still do play very aggressively. So I feel like even though I'm going to try and focus on those two things, board control and card control, I am also going to take shots whenever I get the chance. Beating the warrior was a huge challenge. Alright. So that's, I guess, their version of card control. Okay, so we'll throw one more out there. So now, should I put both out here? I don't want to play all my cards, but I can play two. So I'll leave these two. I kind of have to anyway. And they help each other out, so that's nice. He's got charge, so he's going to knock him out. Alright. So, I guess because nothing's out here, I shouldn't have to. So if I would... Use that. Maybe I'm taking this too too literally, but now that uh, now I'm like sort of hesitant to play all these cards too soon. I don't want to go ahead and play it play it too early. Although if I had placed that raptor, he would have been able to attack now. So let's put um put this one out here. Uh. Boom. And you could also take him out. I'm going to try and focus on board control first, because I think that's what Reluce pointed out, is trying to tackle one before the other. So I'm going to do my best to keep this as clear as possible. And then just when I have the opportunity, take shots at the hero, which I guess is sort of the idea of how you want to play it, right? So let's put... Um, another raptor out here and then we'll do hold on this will not kill it I was sort of a suicidal move this will be suicidal too so I should probably get something else out there shouldn't I so I'll have two Okay, let's see how this goes. Uh, get behind me. Look at he's got all these cards, yeah. Maybe I'm I am playing too many cards. Uh oh. Frozen. Uh what 
can we play? He's going to do damage. He's going to possibly... He could probably just skip over my raptor and go after my hero. Do five damage. So I need to get something out there quick. So let's do two damage and get rid of him. And then... We'll take a shot at the hero. And then we'll leave these cards just to have them up our sleeve. Our digital sleeve. Oh, great. I'm a frog now. And he's got a totem. What's that totem do? It's just a totem. What's the point of the totem, then? Uh, okay. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Draw one. Yes. Let's play that. And let's grab... Ooh, that'll be useful later on. So I'm going to grab it. And let's play this guy here. And we'll take care of this minion. Or totem. Again, just trying to keep this clear. See how it works. So far, so good. Knock on wood. Okay, I really shouldn't have said that. Okay. So let's... This is going to kill him. That is what it is going to do. Now... I probably want to go ahead and place this. I want to get rid of this guy before I place him. Because he's only got 5 health. So if I put him out there, this ogre could just kill him in one shot. And that's just a waste. So that knocked him down to 3. Um, I'm going to try and keep my hand... Again, not totally used. I want to have these cards for later. Just chipping away. Oh, no! Now, I was a little f foolish. Super foolish. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. If I put him out there, he's dead. But at the, the... I'll put this one out here. Because if I put him... Yeah, I want to save him because that 9 damage could be really useful. Okay. So let's do 2 damage, I guess, against this guy. This one's going too. And then I just happen to have the mana uh, left over. So let's just chip away a little bit more. I need some mid-level cards here. No more of this low-level alligator stuff. Oh, man. I'm losing the whole board control. Oh, no! Ugh. Okay. This will be useful. Uh, let's just put him out there. We need to take control of the board here. Okay. So, let's get rid of the... I can't. I gotta focus on this. He's got taunt. Man, that's tough. But I've got taunt. Well, I had taunt. And now I have death. Alright, well, I lost. Um, Postmortem. What could have I have done differently? I know that when it comes to trading card games, sometimes you're just dealt a bad hand. Uh, so, I don't know. Let's play one more game using this strategy. And see what we could do differently. Why does he keep putting me... To, no, I don't want my custom. I just want a regular hunter. And we're going to go against the shaman again. We're going to try things... I mean, how much of it, I'm, my question for players who are more experienced, how much of it goes into class, you know, warfare to maybe, you know, hunters are weak against a certain class, how much of it goes into the luck of the draw, and how much of that was, like, decision-making. That's something that I'm trying to get a better grasp on as I play because I think that'll help me in learning how to actually play well. Uh, okay. Definitely want this card. Definitely want this one. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we can get for that. Okay. B more useful earlier on. And the coin, which we're going to hold on to. That was fast. Right off the bat, huh? Okay. 
So let's let's do our tracking early on. See what we could get. Um, yes. I still want to use that thing. That thing's gonna be amazing to use. Okay. Let's put out, uh, anything with taunt? No. Okay. So let's put the wrapper out there. This doesn't do any damage anyway. So I'll take care of it in the next turn. That one does, so maybe I should take care of that one first. Oh, I can't. Again, <laughs> I keep forgetting. Taunt. That's how taunt works. Great. And I've got some left, so I could do tracking again. Maybe I should hold on to that until I need it. And we'll put this one out. Oh no! Alright, well it saved me a little bit. Let's take care of this totem. Um, this would be probably a waste. This would be good to use on, uh, whatchamacallit, the core hound. Because, oh man, would that be crazy. So let's save those for when we can do that. And we'll put, like, we'll put this the boar out here. And then we'll use this. I'm not putting too, out, too much out too quickly. All right. Let's put this guy out there. And we'll sacrifice these to knock them down a little bit. So when the troll inevitably fights, it'll take out... Um, won't take out my, my gorilla, but my gorilla will take him out. And then maybe, since I've lost so many, let's put out one more. We'll put out uh, the timber wolf. Oh, man. I need one of those. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Perfect timing. I Gonna play this. Oh, I can't. Oh, I don't have two minions. Or they don't have two minions. Okay. Um, so let's place this out so we get the extra attack. And then, I mean, that's not going to finish it off. Now, that was a bad move. I know that was a bad move because that got rid of my taunt, which even though it would have, he would have died in the next round, it would have at least spared my my hero. So that was a bad idea. Um, I could pull this. Yeah, might as well do it. Let's see what we got. Timberwolf, Bloodframe Raptor, and, uh, well, I'd have enough to put him out, but I could use some more higher level... Or higher damage minions. So let's grab him. And I think we're good. He's going to attack my hero. Why wouldn't he? Oh my gosh. Especially now. He's definitely going to knock him down. Um, my biggest problem, I feel my hang up here is like, I can't play this core hound because the second I play him, they're going to kill him. So he's just there to be like a meat shield. Um, and I would play him sooner, but he's seven mana. How many mana is this guy? Six. Okay. So, I mean, it's not too far off. Uh, I feel like I'm hitting a wall where, you know, I'm, I don't have a whole lot of super high, uh, level, level fighters here. Okay. What can I use? Okay, here's here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this. And I'm going to use my extra mana to play this. To get rid of both of them. Oh, man. Okay. Hit it very hard. And then I could fight him. 
because I'm losing. Okay, but like that I can take care of. Him I can take care of. Why would he do that, though? Because... Oh, he's got charge? Ah! Oh, bummer. Okay. We're gonna place him, though. And... We're going to... Do what we can to hurt him. Does he have charge? Please don't have charge. Ah! Oh, he's got charge. Which means they can both hit him and kill him. So that was all for naught. Yeah, great. And now I have nothing on the board. How did this happen to me? <laughs> uh, okay. Let's play you. And deals two damage. I can pick anybody even though they've got taunt. Okay, so let's go after you. And then we'll have this go out here. Now, does this boar have charge because he's a boar? No. Okay. I suspect this one's going to go over my minions and fight my hero. Yep. I suspected right. Oh, man. He played everything he's got. So does that mean I play everything I, should, I have? Should I do that? Um, let's see what we could do with this. Okay. So let's get rid of this one. And then we have to get rid of this one. And then we're going to want to get rid of either of the two. <laughs> And then, I guess, play what we've got? I don't know There we go. Okay, so... Yeah, he's gonna do 7 damage. This is a losing game. Okay. So I could do 6 damage here, so... I could take him out. But then he'll still be doing damage. That's a tough decision. Because if I take him out, he'll still do five damage. She's going to win. If I take him out, I won't have enough to take him out. He's going to do it. So it's a losing. It's, I've lost. So let's just let's just take care of this guy. I need to kill somebody to feel good. Get one more shot in there. Well, okay. I mean, this is where it ends. But I don't. I don't know. I, have I played any better by using this advice? I mean, not to say that it's not like valid either way, but I can't tell if I'm doing any better. I think in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try different classes, but I'm going to keep using the same advice. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you could tell me what I'm doing wrong, because I love learning about this game. I think that's what's really pulling me in, not so much the how good the gameplay is. I mean, it's really good, but I think also a big part of it is um, it's something totally outside of my wheelhouse, and so it's giving me an opportunity to learn something new. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a great weekend. Whatever you're doing, make the most of it. And I hope to see you next time for more Hearthstone. Bye, everybody.